do an example with Coulomb's law just in one dimension. So we start with a particle, we'll say it's at the origin, and it has a charge of two microcoulombs. And we're asked, where would we place a charge of negative five microcoulombs such that the force on the charge at the origin is equal to one newton? Okay, so first I'm just going to, to think a little bit about where where that might be. Here's the positive x-axis. So if I have a negative five microcoulomb charge, and I want my net, my my well one force, the force at the end, to be one newtons uh, positive in the positive x direction, where would I place this charge such that it exerts a force in the positive direction on the two uh, microcoulomb charge? Well, it's going to be at a positive x positive value of x because there are opposite charges and charges attract and so since it charges attract it's going to exert a force in the positive direction on the on the uh, charge at the origin okay so we know from uh, qualitatively then that we're going to have a positive charge now we're going to know where that location is well um, the magnitude of the Coulomb force is given by the just the magnitude of Coulomb's constant times the product of the charges divided by the separation between them squared, which in this case is just x. And so this magnitude then needs to be equal to uh, 1 newton. And now, if I look, I know the value of my charges, I knew Coulomb's constant, I know everything, I can simply go ahead and uh, solve this relationship. And so Coulomb's constant, I'm going to say, is 9 times uh, 10 to the 9. My charges, and I, these are, this is magnitude, so I just need all the positive values. I have 2 times 10 to the negative 6 microcoulombs. I have 5 times 10 to the negative 6. Again, microcoulombs all divided by uh, x squared is equal to 1. I bring x squared on the other side, and I can go ahead and solve for x. There's 9 times 2 times 5. That looks like a 90. 10 to the 9, 10 to the negative 12, 10 to the minus 3, x squared equal to 0 0.09, and so then x is equal to 0 0.3. I didn't really give all in SI units, I'm assuming, and so x is equal to 0 0.3 meters. And so that's the location. This is the magnitude, and we know that we have the right position because uh, it has to have a positive x for the attractive force to exert a... Uh, um, a positive valued force on the charge on the origin.